All right, everybody, we are back with our Friday review. Can't wait to get into today's show. We actually have an extended product review. So I shared this with our community just about two weeks ago now, and it was like absolutely one of uh, people's favorite things that I reviewed. So I'm excited to bring that with you here today. I'll also share with you the feedback that I got uh, with over 500 people uh, just on a single post requesting more information, which is pretty great. It's not even our product. It's just a product I've been using myself with all of my research. So I'm going to share that with you and then two research studies because we're doing an extended product review. First research study, you won't want to miss this. It's a great one on uh, intermittent fasting. I will be doing a whole show on it, but I want to give you the nuts and bolts. You can start to implement it right away if you'd like to. And then I'm going to dissect the study on a future show. Okay, second research study is also a positive one. And although I don't believe cold water immersion, cold plungers are right for everyone, and I've shared that since the very beginning, there's some great research that if you're able to do it, well, you could get fantastic benefits, and I'll share why. All right, so let's dive right into the show. I always love to start with what you may have missed over the last week, simply because I want to make sure that you can go back and you can check out these shows on a daily basis that you may have missed. So Monday's show was stop assuming the worst in people, because oftentimes, they didn't mean anything that was essentially malicious, but sometimes we can infer things that aren't really there. There's three specific frames that I give you on that show as to kind of how to reframe it when you're talking with that individual to turn a potential negative into a positive. So it's one that I need to use in my own life, and I am, and that's why I want to share with you specifically how I do it. All right little adjustment of the camera here. We're right back in. Tuesday's show was why you may get tingliness or itchiness on your skin. And uh, this is an important one because a lot of people in our community write in on the weekend saying, why am I getting itchy ankles or feet or sometimes hands or wrists uh, after I start exercising or in the sauna or when I wake up? So I share all the potential reasons right there. There's about six. And then actually, I give you uh, more tips on a little bit different, but also related pathway on Wednesday's show of how to detox obesogens or obesogenic chemicals from your body to lose weight forever. Because much of the time, believe it or not, people are holding on to something to call toxic water weight. I've talked about this in the past, but when your body's inflamed, it holds water. That is literally how the body works. So much of the time, sure, we might be holding body fat, but we're also holding pounds worth, many pounds worth of inflammatory toxic water weight that does not need to be there. That is not normal hydration. All right, and then yesterday's show was the side effects of stomach acid blockers. About seven main reasons. I break those down for you now, of actually potential side effects, both short-term and long-term. You want to be aware of this because if you're a practitioner, many of your clients are going to be on acid blockers for their stomach, over-the-counter, or prescription. And then, of course, for our general audience, uh, you'll know someone without a doubt that's on a proton pump inhibitor or one of these other acid acid blockers. And I know that it's giving you short-term benefit, but we always have to remember, we might just have to then take more medications and more medications to deal with all of the side effects of these pharmaceuticals in the future as well. So that is that. It's kind of a lot, but I would love you to check out those shows. They all can be very helpful for someone you love and maybe even for yourself, right? And hopefully you love yourself too. All right, so let's get into today's show. We're looking at episode 3353. That means all of the show notes, all the product links, all the research will be at stephencabral.com slash 3353. All right, I told you this was one of the most popular product reviews I've done in a long time. And I simply said to people, hey, if you'd like more information, just comment red for red light, you know, after uh, inside of this post. And it, it, again, Instagram does not like to show my post to a lot of people. I'm, I'm in their, uh, uh, their um, I don't know, corral that they do not show more than maybe one or 2%. So if you want to see what's on Instagram each day for me, you can simply just go to my name, Stephen Cabral, and you'll be able to find it. Uh, but this was pretty impressive. And here's why. This is a new red light hat that I'm using. Many of you know the red light device that I was previously using. And it's Again, that wasn't a bad device. It was a great device. It was state-of-the-art when I recommended it about seven years ago, right? Six, seven years ago. And I've been using it ever since. And all you do is you place it on your head, you hold it for, I think it's like 30 seconds, it uh, buzzes or so, and then you move it um, another three or four inches, and then you keep doing that all around your whole head. And so you kind of move it five times or six times. 
And that's what I've always done. And it's great. And a lot of you know that during COVID, I lost over half of all of the hair on the top of my head. So I am very fortunate. I know that. And I'm very grateful that I was able to regrow that hair. Not everyone is, and I get it. But most of us, especially men, as we get older, our hair starts to thin. And we start to lose much, much of it, uh, which is androgenic alopecia, just basically hair loss for men from a conversion of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone. Uh, this goes for women as well. The scalp also gets weaker. Protein isn't as strong. Uh, the scalp gets uh, looser, so there's not as much, believe it or not, circulation to those hair follicles. We start to go lower in nutrients. Many different reasons. So many, many different reasons. And I explain all the reasons for hair loss and thinning on a completely free article at stephencabral.com slash hair dash loss. And I'll link that up here today as well. But I switched red light devices just about two months ago, and I'm happy to review the new product that I'm using. One, it has far more red lights. It has 120 diodes, 120 red lights on the specific hat. The second thing is it uses the most up-to-date and state-of-the-art red light, which is 650 nanometer wavelengths. So this is the absolute best and most scientifically proven way to regrow hair loss uh, or so hair loss or thinning of the hair. Really great for the scalp. Uh, and the last part is that you don't need to move the hat. So literally, you put this hat on, and all you're going to do then is wear it for 10 minutes as you're getting ready in the morning. And I gave that as a uh, as a tip, I think, on a previous show. But literally, um, you can do it while you're oil pulling in the morning. After you get out of the shower, um, you could do it as you're... Uh, just getting ready for the day. Or if you put on a vitamin D lamp, as I've recommended in the past, you can put on your red light hat. So you can do it with so many different things, just as you're getting ready. So I'm going to show it to you right now. So it says higher dose right on it. This is the higher dose hat. And inside, you can see all the different red lights. They're not on yet, but this is a no EMF hat. So here's where the battery goes. I click it right on. I haven't even charged this for like two weeks. And then I press this button in the back. Click it on, you can now see all of the red lights right under the hat. All I have to do now, and this hat is adjustable. It's a regular baseball hat. What they did is they built it in with all the red lights. All I do is place this on my head right now, and that is it. I am now good to go. It goes all the way to the back of my head and then also in the front. So if I'm looking to regrow a little bit more here or thinning here, in the beginning or, or uh, the front of my hairline, I'm gonna keep this pulled down a little bit lower over my forehead. And then if I'm looking to grow more in the back with for hair loss, I'll just tilt the hat up and I'll place it a little bit more in the back. But this now is taking care of my red light for the day. 10 minutes, that's all there is to it. And uh, it's honestly, it's that simple. So this is not something that I would ever bring you if it wasn't backed by science. Red light for hair loss and hair regrowth is backed by science. It helps to move the hair follicles from that resting stage or falling out stage, and I've got a lot of podcasts on this on all the technical parts of it, to a growth-based phase. And so at first, you start to see little fine hairs, and then they start to rebuild stronger and grow thicker. So that's what it's all about. So if you're trying to prevent hair loss in the future, or you're trying to help with hair loss or thinning, this is a great product. It is the most state of the art and the best red light science we have right now for extending hair uh, length, meaning keeping your hair on your head as well as regrowing it. All the products are at stevencabal.com slash hair dash loss. But for this one, uh, you actually get 15% off because we reached out to Hired Dose. So our community, we always try to get you a discount. You can go specifically to our link, and that's at stephencabral.com slash 3353, and the code is Cabral15. So we're going to link that up for you here today, just stephencabral.com slash 3353. But it's honestly, it's that easy. Check it out. Super simple. I press the power button right on it. Now you heard the beep. It's off. It's all there is to it, honestly. It's super simple. Here's not even that much that messed up, and we're good to go. All right. So hopefully that was helpful. That is the extended product review. And I'll tell you right now, I wouldn't have done a longer review if it wasn't like asked for by our community, but our community really wanted to hear this. And I love it because I love to bring you the latest and greatest. And this is without a doubt the latest and greatest in terms of hair loss and red light therapy. All right. Next up is our first research study for the day. I've talked about this before. I'm going to share with you exactly how we use it in our practice. But these, again, I love to see it being backed up by research. So 
We are not huge advocates of only eating doing the 16-8, right? Why aren't we advocates of doing the 16-8, which is fasting for 16 hours and only eating for eight hours? Well, the reason is, is that there's equal research showing that if you skip breakfast, and actually increases potentially cardiovascular risk because you're increasing uh, stress in the body and cortisol, uh, but also that it can um, uh, affect all-cause mortality. So here's the nice thing, is that you don't need to worry about it if you start eating by 9, 10 a.m. in the morning. And so let me read the study and let me share with you exactly what we've been doing client, with clients for years now. This literally just came out uh, five days ago. All right, March 26th, but I know this is coming out a little bit in the future. So out of the University of Mississippi, a new study indicates that when healthy adults pair an eight-hour eating window with regular exercise, they lose more fat without sacrificing lean muscle compared to exercise alone. So really great study because what they did was they got to control for calories, okay? So now we know it's not just the calories, but one of the big things with intermittent fasting is that individuals were losing a lot of muscle mass. And it turns out that if you just exercise with weights twice a week, the majority of the weight loss then is from fat and not from muscle. So two weight training workouts a week, eight hours of eating, 16 hours of fasting help these adults. Again, we're talking about overall healthy adults. But here's what happened is that the subjects, the people in the study, really liked just focusing on when they could eat. So they didn't feel deprived of calories. They didn't feel deprived of even meals, because a lot of people who do a 16-8 only eat twice. I'm going to share with you exactly what we do. And now all they had to focus on was not restrictions, restrictions, restrictions around food, because they didn't do restrictions around food, could have the set amount of calories, but actually restrictions on time. So in our practice, what we do for weight loss is that if people choose the 16 and for blood sugar balancing, they still have breakfast at nine or 10 o'clock in the morning, but they finish dinner at five or six at night. And when you do that, again, look, look at 10 to six, that's eight hours. So now you don't have to skip breakfast. You still get in three meals because we found when people only eat two meals, the problem is they overeat at a meal, right? So it's a lot of stress in the digestive system, takes a lot of energy, but also they're not, um, many of the times they're not getting all their micronutrients in two meals. So three easy meals, we typically start with a simple shake smoothie, three hours later, lunch, so that's around 1 p.m., and then a five o'clock dinner. It's like over 5.30. So it's very, very simple, very straightforward. It works great. It's part of our Metavolve system, uh, M-E-T-A-V-O-L-V-E. -E. Uh, it used to be called Fatlocity. It's now called Metavolve. If you want to find out more about it, I can't link it up uh, on today's show notes, but I will link up the research. And that's at stephencabral.com slash Fatlocity. That'll take you over to Metavolve. We'll eventually just update that uh, to slash Metavolve. But okay, so that is that. I told you I am going to do an in-depth breakdown of this study, exactly how people did it, all of the things. I'll do all of that, but I want you to always get the, sum the summary or uh, allow me to summarize it just on a Friday review. All right. This next one, I want to give you the summary as well. Cold plunges actually change your cells. So this study, again, I like to bring you the latest and greatest, only came out three days ago, two days ago, technically. All right. University of Ottawa, Cold immersion for seven days significantly improves cellular resistance and autophagic function, helping cells manage stress better. This adaptation could enhance health and longevity, potentially preventing diseases and slowing age at a cellular level. All right, let me break down this study for you. So I do not recommend cold plunging to this day for people with autonomic nervous system issues, for people with high levels of anxiety, high levels of stress, high levels of cortisol, low levels of thyroid function, which means high TSH. So when, uh, why don't I recommend that? Because cold is another what? Stressor on the body. Those people in my practice also don't do extended fasts, right? They can still do a detox, but they do not do an extended fast. Why? It's a greater stress on the body. They don't do saunas at 200 degrees. Why? greatest stress in the body. They don't do high intensity intervals training. Why? Same reasons, right? You can kind of go down the line. So remember these individuals that are high cortisol, low thyroid, uh, estrogen dominant, if, if it's uh, a female, but men could get high levels of estrogen as well as testosterone converts, uh, poor sleep, et cetera. They don't need more stress in their life. They actually need to rebalance the autonomic nervous system to function better. So we do mild stressors. First, we start with walking. 
Then instead of doing um, a, let's say they do 12 hours of fasting, which is normal, let's call it six at night to six in the morning, they might go to 13 hours. So we do minor stresses in the body to rebuild the strength of their body. Small hermetic stressors, small, small callousing of the body, and it works really well. But let's say that you are a healthy human. Let's say you are someone that Overall, you don't produce a lot of as much dopamine. You don't produce as much norepinephrine. You don't produce as much, uh, uh, what was I just looking, norepinephrine, dopamine, or cortisol in the morning. That's it. So, And let's say you're more of the endomarcrobotic type, or just think about it like, let's say that you gain weight more easily than you lose weight. Okay. It, cold plunging can be a great addition for those individuals. And we're finding now that because it is a stressor on the body, that's why you don't have to go too cold either. The big thing is some people, they go to like 37 degrees because they found their favorite you know, health influencer shows that they're doing 37 degrees. All the studies are between 50 degrees and 58 degrees. You don't need to go below that. You can if you want, and only if it just becomes not cold anymore, right? But like, there is no extra benefit to doing 37 degrees than there is at 50 degrees or 52. There's just none. There's absolutely none. Your body doesn't know the temperature. It knows the stress of the cold. So for you and for others, 52 degrees is a great one. I recommend starting out at 56 degrees because that's actually what the science, the research shows. The research is not done on 37 degrees. All right. So be careful with your favorite uh, social media influencer out there because they could be showing you things that are not actually helpful. That produces way too much norepinephrine, way too much adrenaline that actually stresses the body too much. So if you want to learn more about this, um, I have podcasts on cold plunges, but also if you want to see the research, I'm going to link that up for you here today. But this could be a great thing to help modulate inflammation to be able to modulate the immune cells and the mitochondria is such a big part of this. We'll continue this discussion in the future. I appreciate you tuning in every single Cabral concept. Remember, a new show, a new topic, a new action plan every single day, and hopefully just opening the mind to these new health concepts. Thanks so much, everybody. Once again, all notes and the higher dose hat and that 15% discount for our community are all at stephencabral.com slash 3353. Have an amazing rest of the day. I'll be back tomorrow with our Cabral House Calls. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.